talking about you? I snap on it because I look at you different. Why the fuck did you worry about my baby mom? I don't give a... Yo, if you ever was the tough nigga, she would tell you that. I would never talk to that bitch. That bitch ain't on my level. She ain't the fuck nothing to me. And she never been in my circle. She never been around that and know that bitch. And you've been bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up. So now I'm going to give you what you want. I'm never going to touch you again. I'm never physically going to hurt you. You marry this nigga, I'm blowing his fucking head off on everything I love. I'm going back to prison on everything. I ain't going to fuck about that. I told you stop throwing in my face. If this is what you want to do, go ahead and do it. Stop throwing it in my face. All right. I just left you two months ago. Stop throwing in my face before I kill the nigga. This is what I'm telling you because that's my mindset. I will go there. Us to be together, like I really, I really do. Mm-hmm. Really do. I miss the whole everything. This is the story of Natifa Wade, a 40-year-old woman from Coatesville, Pennsylvania, who tragically lost her life after being shot inside a barbershop. The suspect in her murder, Armin Hilton, is a 44-year-old man from Chester, who is wanted for murder and robbery. Wade was a beloved family member and friend, and her sudden death has left a void in the lives of those who knew and loved her. As the investigation into her murder unfolds, more details about the circumstances surrounding her death are expected to emerge. Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a city known for its rich history and cultural heritage. In this very city, a tragic crime unfolded, forever changing the lives of those involved. Natifa Wade, also known as Ms. Kisses, was a 40-year-old woman from Coatesville, Pennsylvania. She was a mother of three children and was known for her fashionable, educated, kind, and ambitious personality. Wade was a registered nurse, home health care provider, influencer and owned several businesses, highlighting her dedication to her profession and her commitment to helping others. Nobody has a better guest, guest list than me in the whole city. I have never seen people bring these type of gifts to somebody party before. Y'all knew I was going to make that party nice. Y'all must have said... I know that party going to be nice because this girl, Tiffany for Tiffany, they done left me. I'm by myself now. Tiffany for Tiffany, I got part. Louis Vuitton. See, I listen, when they said, you paying $300 a person for all these people to come eat and have fun, and da 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 I said, listen, y'all don't know the kind of people that I know. Y'all don't be with the kind of people that I like. The people that like me, Fendi baby suits. I don't know if I can take the perfume on the plane. I'm gonna be on a, be on a yacht like this. Ain't nobody gonna get you no small perfume. Don't let it ask. Like this? Cause you said this stuff people got you. I mean, yeah. So like other people got present. you. Chanel. Lacoste. I thought you was talking about like from the party. Yeah, I still, but I've been saving them all this that one. So I still wanted to tell them thank you. All right, we'll do the. Wade was a dedicated and hardworking woman who took pride in her job and her community. She was known for her warm and caring personality, always eager to lend a helping hand to those in need. Wade's nickname, Ms. Kisses, reflects her warm and caring personality, and her role as a mother of three children speaks to her dedication and love for her family. Tiffany began posting troubling content on her social media accounts about her ex-boyfriend and the father of her youngest child, Armin Hilton. Her ex, who had been threatening her since she moved on and started a new relationship, was the subject of these posts. How about you? I snap on it because I look at you different. Why the fuck did you worry about my baby mom? I don't give a... Yo, if you ever was the tough nigga, she'd tell you that. I would never talk to that bitch. That bitch ain't on my level. She ain't the fuck nothing to me. And she never been in my circle. She never been around that and know that bitch. And you've been bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up. So now, I'm going to give you what you want. I'm never going to touch you again. I'm never physically going to hurt you. You marry this nigga, I'm blowing his fucking head off on everything I love. I'm going back to prison on everything. I ain't going to fuck about that. I told you stop throwing in my face. If this is what you want to do, go ahead and do it. Stop throwing in my face. All right. I just left you two months ago. Stop throwing in my face before I kill the nigga. This is what I'm telling you because that's my mindset. I will go there. Us to be together, like I, re I really do. Mm -hmm. Really do. I miss the whole everything. The North Philadelphia community was rocked by a tragic incident on October 7th, 
2023. Natifa Wade, a 40-year-old woman from Coatesville, Pennsylvania, fell victim to a fatal shooting inside a barbershop located on the 2500 block of Lehigh Avenue. The shooting occurred in broad daylight, just before 2 p.m., leaving residents shocked and authorities scrambling for answers. According to police reports, Natifa Wade was inside the barbershop when an assailant opened fire, striking her in the torso and head. Despite the swift response of emergency medical services, Natifa Wade succumbed to her injuries and was pronounced dead at the scene by medics at approximately 2.04 p.m. Law enforcement officials have identified the suspect in Natifa Wade's murder as Armin Hilton. Hilton is wanted on charges of murder, robbery, violation of the Uniform Firearms Act, and related offenses in connection with this heinous crime. The absence of any discernible motive, recovered weapons, or suspects in custody has compounded the grief and frustration felt by Natifa Wade's loved ones and the community at large. However, authorities are offering a reward of $20,000 for any information leading to the arrest and conviction of Armin Hilton or any other individuals involved in the shooting. There were online rumors suggesting reasons why Armin, known as Speedy to many, might have killed Tiffany. Armin was reportedly upset with Tiffany for multiple reasons. According to a post, Speedy felt betrayed by Tiffany because he had put his properties in her name while he was incarcerated. When Tiffany later married someone else, Speedy lost his properties. An examination of Hilton's past reveals that in March 2002, he was involved in the kidnapping of a 17-year-old male along with two accomplices. The trio abducted the teen outside a store and held him for ransom overnight after learning that the teen's family had recently received $100,000 from a legal settlement. They demanded $50,000 from the family, instructing them to place the money in a plastic bag in a garbage can. The family immediately contacted the police, who set up an undercover operation with a decoy bag. One of the suspects was seen retrieving the bag and was arrested by the police. The teen, who had been tied up, managed to escape and flagged down police. All three suspects were charged with kidnapping, robbery, conspiracy, and aggravated assault. As authorities continue their efforts to piece together the events leading to Natifa Wade's tragic demise, the community stands united in mourning and seeking justice for her untimely passing. Vigils and support networks have sprung up as neighbors come together to support one another during this difficult time. The tragic loss of Natifa Wade is a stark reminder of the senseless violence that can shatter lives in an instant. Natifa's death, a result of a senseless act of gun violence, should never have happened. She was a beloved member of her community, cherished by her family and friends, and her untimely passing has left a profound void in their lives. This heartbreaking tragedy serves as a somber wake-up call, prompting us to reflect on what could have been done to prevent such a devastating outcome. We must acknowledge the urgent need for comprehensive measures to address the root causes of gun violence and to implement effective strategies to keep our community safe. The impact of Natifa's death extends far beyond her immediate family. Her loved ones are left grappling with unimaginable grief and anguish, struggling to come to terms with the sudden and violent loss of someone dear to them. The pain of her absence will linger for years to come, leaving an indelible mark on those who knew and loved her. As we mourn the loss of Natifa Wade, we must also redouble our efforts to support her family and loved ones through this challenging time. It is crucial that they receive the care, compassion, and resources they need to navigate the difficult road ahead and to begin the process of healing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.